Welcome back. Time for more Planet Stronghold. So, we're still in this area. Let's take a look at the, uh, the, last, uh, the last point. And just see what's, what's going on there. This is the last point of interest on here. Let's see if there's anything we can do. Oh, a strange kind of weapon. Maybe a new weapon for us. Okay. I think that we've seen a, uh, a choice like this before. All right. One is leave place. Two is watch them fight each other. Three is help the Arnox. Four is help the Apex. So, I mean, we don't want to leave because we want the weapon. Watch them fight each other? Maybe so. It looks like that's what you're saying. Help the Arnox, help the Apex. Maybe a little disingenuous, since we've killed one race and will be killing the other. We know that's how that's inevitably going to go. So maybe, yeah, it looks like that you're saying that we should help out. Uh, sorry, we should watch them fight each other to the death, see what happens. Right? Oh, Bellamy's concerned. Oh, look what happened. A grenade destroyed the weapon. Damn. It's nothing to see here. Bellamy's sad. We missed out on that weapon. We missed out. But we're going to live with that decision. We're going to exit the sector. So we, uh, we did what we had to do with the Apex Ron. Time to see what the Arnox are all about. Should we, uh, you want to you wanna go back and talk with the others? To see if we can say anything new to our party members? Right, we can try that. <laughs> yes, the famous Red Thunder. We'd never make fun of you, Red Thunder. I want a Red Thunder's opinion on something. Hmm? About the king, huh? Oh, no doubts, Tom. No doubts at all. I have no question about that. It never even enters my mind if what we did was right. If what we're doing is right. Never question it, Lisa Nelson. Never question it. Oh. Do we agree or disagree with Tom Schatz? I'm not even sure what we're agreeing with. Okay, looks like everyone's saying we should be agreeing. Don't think about it, Lisa. Just follow your orders. That's what's important. If you're commanded to commit genocide, that's what you're going to do. You're a soldier. You have to follow your orders. That's what's most important in life. Okay. Looks like that's what you're saying. I hear you, Tom. I hear you. And, yep, our relationship went up with Tom. And isn't, in the end, that's the only thing that's important? Yeah, we can't let our teammates know that we have doubts. That's the worst thing to do for a leader. Physical contact. Tom trusts us. He believes that we can get it done. That was a touching moment with Tom Schatz. Let's go around and see what anyone else, everyone else is doing. Okay, we didn't get to talk with Rumi before. Rumi, very formal, even when we're off-duty. Yeah, because, I mean, that doesn't even... The blindness doesn't even come up in the game. 
But her her having a code of honor does. She has to be very honorable because, of course, she's Asian, and that's how that's how that is. Okay, it looks like that we have a choice. Do we tell her that she should relax a bit or tell her that she's right in what she does? Uh, this is kind of even. A little dissension in the mind of Lisa Nelson over how we should respond to this. Oh no, it seems like that uh, number one is taking the lead. Maybe we should tell Rumi that she needs to relax. Just loosen up a bit. Yeah, it looks like that's how that's going to go. It is a serious matter. But sometimes you just got to push the alien murder out of your mind. Yes, if you do nothing but focus on the war, you'll lose your humanity. We certainly have not lost our humanity yet. And that's not something that's happened. No, Rumi. Oh, you're using the word honorable again. Just try to relax a bit. And you can do that with the uh, with the available DLC pack. Planet Stronghold Citadel. Where our party members get to loosen up a bit. Okay, let's see who else we can talk to. Yep, there's a... Uh Rebecca, once again, always training. She's hiding something from her past. <laughs> We're talking to everyone, Rebecca. We, you see, there's this meter, and when you get happy from talking to us, it goes up, and that's kind of what we're trying to do. Oh. Well... Okay. I didn't really expect this. But it looks like that we have the option to ask uh, Rebecca out. Or we can just say that we just want to talk with her. Little split, but... It, no? Yeah, it's pretty split. Over what our interest in Rebecca actually is. Yeah, what about Tom Schatz, chat? Are you forgetting all about him? Already? Chat has no sense of commitment. Oh, actually, wait, this is even again. This is even. Hmm, that's a tough one. Lisa Nelson just kind of standing there, staring at Rebecca Fox, wondering how she should answer this question. But no, it does look like that number two is taking it. So we're just going to say that we just want to talk, Rebecca Fox. Oh, our relationship went down. Now she, Rebecca th seems to think that we want to ask her out, even though we said otherwise. Oh, I, I guess the I guess this path is happening anyway, regardless of which choice we made. I guess that's what's happening. Moving on to Science Lab. Okay, we already have all the information that we can get from Lucille so far. Neuropathic, maybe it wasn't meant as a romantic date. I think you know what was meant. I think we all know what was meant. Let's ask Jacob where he's from. No, no, I didn't forget about Jacob. I could never forget about Jacob. Hmm. Alright, how do we 
continue this conversation. Do we act skeptical about being birthed by an android? Or do we just say, you know, question about him not adding anything to the official record? All right, looks like that, uh, that we do want to question this story. No, oh, he likes that. He likes that, uh, that we're questioning. That's a good point. It's a matter of semantics. Sort of like the difference between cold-blooded murder and, uh, and duty in times of war. Concerning aliens. And killing aliens. Oh. Can we just talk to him over and over again? I didn't know that. W I didn't know we could do that. I don't think I even have to take a vote to this. All right, so we got to go to the pub with Tom Schatz. Oh, how do we handle this? Do we insist that Tom pays? No, insist on that we pay, or do we let Tom pay for us? How do we handle that aspect of this, you know, this little get-together going out to the pub? Then we better be careful, or we might make Phil jealous, because we do know that Phil is always in the pub in his time off. He never leaves this place. All right, looks like most of you are saying we should let Tom pay for us. Time flies as we chat with Tom Schatz. <laughs> well, yeah, that's not hard to believe. We murdered a whole bunch of them with a bomb. Like, just before, a few minutes ago. You remember that, right? Tom Schatz, always there for us. And that made our relationship go up with him. Lisa Nelson doesn't want things to go too fast with Tom Schatz. So things really advancing with Tom Schatz. Michelle, of course, in the lounge as always. Yeah, Michelle is getting tired of war, but not us. Never us. We'll never get tired. To s that depends on your point of view, Michelle. No, I don't think it ever will. Oh, we actually get to make a choice for that. If war changes or if war does not change. To be honest, no, I don't is one. Or telling Michelle not to worry is two. Because I think, I think Lisa Nelson has been quite enjoying what's been going on so far. I don't get the sense that she's been regretting any of it. Looks like most of you are saying one. So that's what we'll go with. No, Michelle, it's never going to change. The killing will always be there, and you will be there too. Alongside me. Murdering aliens... Right. Humans 
dreamed of being able to travel to other planets and kill the inhabitants. That's right. Well, not just men. We're born. Is this supposed to be dialogue for Josh Nelson? Did they just not rewrite the dialogue for uh, for Lisa here? <laughs> but for some reason, that makes our relationship with Michelle go up. <laughs> Michelle's Michelle is into violence. Actually, that's uh, that was something she was hiding. What would be the wrong way, Lisa? That was an odd conversation. Right, let's see how Bellamy's doing. He's a little old. But he's old inside. After the things I've seen, there are so many races. I killed most of them, personally. Well, I think we know the answer to this one. Does Lisa Nelson like fighting? Does she live for it? Or maybe no, not really. I mean, do I even really have to put this to a vote? It's quite obvious that Lisa Nelson is the universe's greatest monster. Yeah, that's what I thought. The, the aliens falling on the floor? I can't get enough of that part of it. Bellamy's not sure how to take this. No, those aliens just won't listen. Oh, Bellamy doesn't like that. Bellamy, we have principles. Those principles just have to do with killing aliens, is all. Don't tell me you don't like the killing, Bellamy. Slightly different. We get into a conversation about how the war's over. Lisa's going to get her own planet. For people like us, call it Outer Heaven. All right, here's uh, the Arnox. I guess that's what we're doing now. Oh, unexplored location already. Let's just fly around a bit, though. See if we find anything. Just relaxing in our hovercraft, flying around the wasteland. Yeah, we'll save before we do any anything. Just want to clear out this map of all the unknown spaces. All right, let's uh, rest up a little bit and save. Okay, so we see some enemies, see some points of interest. Let's start exploring. Hmm. Hey, no one's going to accuse me of being an alien sympathizer. I, I kill aliens all the time. I killed ten aliens before breakfast today. Oh, an Arnox looking to be the new war chief. Uh, maybe this is one of the, uh, the three candidates. <laughs> no, I believe that robots should stay out of politics. All right, well, we've seen robots before. There's really, that really has not been a big deal. Let's see how this works. Yep. There really wasn't anything to it. Oh. Oh, Tom Schatz, shocked. Unacceptable. Oh, she's shocked too. Everyone's shocked. 
Still not too bad. Let's try use a psionic attack. Oh, that actually worked. Oh, wow, everyone's still shocked. Eh, still not really a big deal. Is everyone still shocked? Wow. This shock sure is lasting a long time. Fortun I mean, it's good that we have psionics, though. I mean, really, at first that really was not coming in handy, but... Let's try to use a little Tom Shat psionics. He missed, of course. But even though we're, we're stunned... Oh, he's throwing a grenade that stuns for three turns. Okay. But, I mean... Even though we're stunned, Lisa Nelson is just standing there looking at the at the Arnox and killing it by looking at it. Ah. Oh. Okay, a little bit. Can we do that again? Or is everyone just gonna miss? Oh, almost. Just almost a little bit more. Uh Was almost sad. Well, actually, the, the Arnox did a lot better against us than a lot of other enemies. It just is a good thing that Lisa Nelson had huge psionic attacks that could be used. That's one down. Two to go. Let's rest up. Okay, there's only we only see two other points on the map, aside from that one in the upper right, which still is a question mark. So I guess this is where the two other candidates are. Negative energy, you say? <laughs> I fear no one. All aliens shall fall underneath my feet. Hmm, I'm not sure if I trust him. <laughs> Phil's cold-blooded. Just how we like it. Hmm. Have we encountered a master Robo Brain yet? Hmm. Okay, we got a choice to make. Do we abandon the Sentinel, help the Sentinel, or just watch the fight? I mean, even if we helped him, we probably have to kill him afterwards, right? That is our our objective to kill all of these candidates. Looks like, oh, some of you saying to help, but most of you saying to just sit back and watch the fight. Just going to sit back and watch this happen, I guess. Well, actually, help the Sentinel is catching up. I was about to end the vote. That is going up. Okay, number three... Mm, went mm, uh, oh number two in the lead surprising okay it looks like number two pushing ahead help the sentinel against the robo brain okay i mean it looks like it looks like that's winning it looks like that's winning okay uh okay i'm just gonna just gonna have to end the vote here on the count of three three Two, one, and and yes, number two, one. All right, we're helping him. Lisa Nelson, I guess, kind of has a little bit in the way of mood swings or opinion swings. Not sure why she would say that we're not going to let him die. Pitiful. You are pitiful. You lost the moment you met me. Right, let's try a big psionic attack on this. Yep, that worked well. Ah, but of course that missed. Psionics still do miss quite a bit, it seems. 
Ha, gotcha. I'm, I'm, uh, has Lisa Nelson ever actually delivered the killing blow? I'm not sure. It's unusual for that to happen anyway. Now what happens? Don't thank us yet. Ah, he died. So we didn't have to kill him anyway. Oh, that goes down with Rebecca Fox, though. She thinks we wasted our time. Oh, but it went up with Tom Schatz. So I guess it was all worth it in the end. <laughs> all right. So really, the only thing that matters is that we went up with Tom Schatz. We know this. Okay, this should be the third and final candidate. Okay, it looks like that this one does not have robots or, or robo... Oh, wait, high charisma. I think I know someone who can do that. Oh, maybe we don't have the option. Because it says leave place or attack Sentinel. I guess we just have to attack Sentinel. We did not actually get the option to talk with them. All right, well, whatever. Mm. Nah, she's... They're all they're pretty much... Well, Phil's not. Phil's not paralyzed. Let's try that again. Okay, there we go. Nope. You? Nope. And you? Nope. Let's see. No one... Well, Lisa's taking some damage. But this does not seem like... Okay, I don't have enough points for the, heart, for the high attack. Let's try the medium. Okay, if I can keep doing that, we should still be okay. Can I use an... Ah, uh, no item. No. Oh, wait. Uh, life giver, but I don't need that right now. See about Rebecca. Probably should keep them stocked in in items for situations like these. Hmm. Lisa Nelson is disabled. It seems. Oh, can't use any items. Uh, don't have any options. St ah, no, still disabled. So the enemies we've been fighting now have been using this disable against us. And this has really been something uh, that we haven't had to deal with before. And they just keep doing it. Hmm... Can't use any psionic power. Can't use any items. Does he have any? Oh, he has a first aid kit. Good. Let's use it on, on Lisa. That didn't really do much at all. Yeah, this, uh, this whole disabling thing is kind of a problem. All right, at least one's down. Oh, the number over the S reflects how many turns they have left before they are... Ah, both T and C. Yeah. Right, so that should free up Tom Schatz and Rebecca Fox. Tired disables psionics, shocks disables attacks, and confused disables items. Okay. Probably should have figured this out before uh, we are so far in the game. Okay, wow. Lots of status effects right there. She pretty much can do nothing. Hmm. 
He's still shocked. Let's try to use, see if we can do anything here as far as this uh, psionic attack goes. Nah, missed. Thought so. Hmm. Ah, oh, no, he's shocked. Okay. I can do pretty much nothing. They've done a good job at cutting off all options, really. That sentinel's almost dead. Okay. Good. Sentinel's dead, so I should be able to complete the battle then. Okay, yeah, here we go. Back to clicking mindlessly. Okay. For a second there, I actually had to think about what I was supposed to be doing, instead of just clicking mindlessly. But we were able to do that at the end. Okay. The third and last Arnox candidate is dead. We're resting up, and we're saving. Okay. And I think that's going to be it for this week's stream, because that's another half hour of Planet Stronghold. So we've made some progress this week. We killed more races. Lots of alien murder. So much alien murder. I guess actually we could report to the king, see what he has to say before we, before we leave. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, the Apex race is no more. He likes that. Sophia thought that those disgusting beasts, they deserve to die because they're disgusting. Come on. Destroyed all of them forever. We'll keep them down under our heels. Okay. Okay, killed the three Arnox candidates. Man, the King Oscar likes that. Well said, my lord. <laughs> King Oscar's very happy with us. We've killed so many aliens. Let's see if there's anyone else. Ah, Shyler, perhaps the only one left. The queen who united these alien races against the glorious King Oscar. Perhaps it's time for her to finally go down. Let's save that again. Okay. So, now, it's time to end. The king's very happy with us. We have killed so many aliens and have become a living monster. You want to have one more meeting with Shats? Alright. We'll have one more meeting with Tom Shats. Okay, we'll allocate the skill points. Tom. Armor. Rebecca. Survival. Michelle. Lockpick, Jacob, Science, and Rumi, Repair. Okay. Talk to Tom one more time this week. Oh. Okay, I guess we have another choice to make, actually. Do we uh, go with number one? I need, to, I need to go now. Talk to... Wait, why am I even taking a vote on this? Of course we're going to pick two. What am I even thinking? Personal hovercraft, you say? Oh, Tom Shad, Tom's sad about not having his personal hovercraft anymore. How 
had to leave it behind. And why is he telling us this story? <laughs> that expression again. Okay. Yeah, we took care of the Dreddens. Oh no, we can't do that. We can't allow that to happen. Well, if, I don't think we need to make a vote on this. Of course we're going to help. Let's save right here. Okay. That's it for the stream this week. So next time, we'll continue on with Planet Stronghold, and it looks like we're going to be starting out um, helping Tom Schatz get his red hovercraft laugh back. Back. And um, I guess maybe the only other thing left is to take on the Marauder Queen? Maybe so. Maybe that's all we have to do to get this thing done. But that's it for the stream. Next week, um, well, we finish Depression Quest. We finish Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. <sighs> so I guess next week we're going to have a couple new things to go along with Planet Stronghold. So I'll see you then. And let's remember next week, the Shats is counting on us to get his hovercraft back. I'll see you then.